what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt, and today is our first episode of Let's Siege, alright? Um, I think that this series is going to be a lot of fun. It's not going to take the place of Let's Clash or anything like that. So go ahead and just leave those comments um, aside. I don't want to, I just don't want to hear it. You can leave them if you want to, I'm not going to pay attention to them. Um, this game has been a lot of fun so far. Um, there are a lot of aspects that are like Clash of Clans, and there are a lot of aspects that are different from Clash of Clans. Um, this is my base. Right now I am a castle level 5, um, which is obviously kind of like a town hall. Um, and it's a trophy base since this thing is in the middle. And yes, there are trophies and everything like that. Um, you can do uh, wars right here with alliance wars and everything. Um, they're still tweaking things out, but I'm really excited with the progression of the game and how it's going. Um, but we have a full army camp or a full practice yard as you can see let's go in and view our army um, so over here we have our let's go to the question mark come on we have our ram level one now these guys are awesome because they're like the wall breakers in clash of clans but after they blow up through the walls they attack so there's extra so the guys that are holding the ram actually attack the base which is really really cool that's a cool advancement um, next we have the Samurai, they're level 2 right now, they're kind of like the Barbarian of Clash of Clans. Um, they, yeah, they're just a ground melee troop. Then we have the Archers right here who are level 2 as well. Um, they do the same kind of thing as Archers. Now these guys, they're called the Commanders and I actually really like these guys. It says it commands the troops to attack Archer Towers, Cannons, and other defenses. So the cool thing about that is that they're not just like the Giants in Clash of Clans. If you deploy these guys, then a certain number of your troops are going to go after defenses, which is really, really cool. Um, so if I put these guys down and there's a defense that's attacking, then he's going to command the Samurais uh, to go and attack, as well as the Archers. Um, not all of them, just some of them. So that's a really, really cool thing um, about this game. There's a lot of small details like that that definitely make this different, and they really change your strategy a lot. Um, and it's a lot of fun for those of you who are playing this game comment down below and really let people know like hey I was all about Clash but I really like Samurai Siege I'm not playing this in the place of Clash um, but it is a really fun game and I'm playing it because I like playing fun games uh, so yeah but why don't we go ahead and battle down here in the right corner and um, we're gonna go ahead and see what we can find so up here at the top we have our um, single player maps Okay, we have return village at the top, then we have our single player maps, and then down here we can battle to go to multiplayer, um, which is really cool. I'm still learning how to identify uh, the enemy base uh, based off of things. Like, I've got no idea what level any of this stuff is. It looks kind of like mine. His archer towers look like mine. Um, but other than that, I don't know how well to identify stuff. I do know that he has a whole lot of resources, but I also know that he has a lightning tower right here that's this thing uh, where my little X is so that's a lightning tower um, which I'm a little bit scared of um, <laughs> obviously so we're gonna go ahead and go to the next base and see if we can't find one that um, is worth attacking so this one doesn't look that bad uh, I don't see any lightning towers and his walls are pretty low level um, I think his walls are these walls over here are level one they're just bamboo and then these walls right here are upgraded to I believe level two he has his uh, freeze tower over here on the left. That's that little thing that's kind of moving, um, which is cool because that's not in Clash. I am going to attack this base. Um, we're going to lay down a couple of troops for the archers to shoot at, and then we're going to go ahead and drop down our three wall, our three rams. And as you watch, when they hit, see, there they are. They're all down there attacking. So that's really, really cool. I actually like the aspect of that a lot. So I lay down all my commanders over here. I probably shouldn't have laid them all down right there. They're pretty slow. But if you watch, if I drop my samurais, well, now they're going after that, over there, then some of them, you see the ones with the arrows right there on top of them? They're being commanded by the commanders to go after this archer tower, which is really, really cool. And if you play it correctly, it's going to help you out a lot in the game. Um, so I actually really like the aspect that there is a commander who actually commands. It's really, really cool to me. Um, that that is a kind of troop. I'm gonna check all the corners, make sure there's nothing out here. Um, I'm also going to get rid of this uh, mortar right here, or it's a, it's called a cannon in this game, but it does splash damage. Um, so 
Yeah, but as you can see, I'm just attacking as if I would um, in Clash, but eventually I'm going to stop referring to Clash in this game, and I'm just going to refer to it as Samurai Siege because that's what it is. Um, right now all the defenses are down, so I don't need to deploy the rest of my archers. Um, but something else that's really, really cool about this game that you're going to see in just a second um, from once it's over with, uh, it'll show me what I just got from defeating that town hall. And this, this, this is another small detail that makes this game really fun. Um, guys, I really want to stop comparing this to Clash, and I want it to be its own game, because really, it is its own game. Um, and for those of you who play it, you can say, yeah, there are similarities to Clash of Clans, but there's also its own unique stuff. And as we see right here, it's going to pop up, um, epic victory, 100%, so there's all my loot. We're going to continue, and then what we're going to see right here is, um, oh, it didn't show it to me. Sorry, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. So on the top of that town hall, there was a little, there was a picture. I wish I could go back to it and show you guys. If you want to rewind, you can. <laughs> rewind. There was a picture, okay? So what we can do is we go over here into our menu and we look at our loot right here, okay? And this is really, really cool. So on the attack side of things, we found a commander's katana over here on the left. In the middle, we found a giant hammer. And what we just found on that last base was a, bat was a battering ram. Once we find these other three things, we get bonus troops every time that we fight, and it lasts for two days, so it's really, really cool. On the defensive side, all that I've found is a silver mask, so I have all those, I have five other things to find, um, and then when I do that, I get a cannon of doom, which is like a mortar, so it does splash damage, for two days. So that's really, really cool because that um, it kind of plays into real life how, <laughs> real life, into real battles, how you can go and attack someone and you don't just find loot, you also find things that might help you. You might find weapons, you might find things like that. So that's another really cool aspect of this game is the fact that um, you don't just get your coins and your essence, um, which is the same as gold and elixir. You don't just get that from attacking. Um, so that's really cool. I've really enjoyed those kinds of things. Um, I kind of have, let's go in here and train some troops. I always do about six giants, um, <laughs> giants. I always do about six commanders. Um, come on, go to the next one. One, two, three wall breakers. And then um, I do, and then I like to have um, about 15, 20, let's do 20. Um, 20 of the ninjas, which are the same as goblins. So they go straight after the resources. And then we're just gonna fill the rest up on that one with samurais. Actually, we're gonna go get rid of some of those. Um, we're gonna get rid of five of those. And then we're gonna fill up the rest of this one with archers up to our 115 total. So they can't all fit there. Um, so we'll go up to 115 on this one. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I've really just, I, I like this game, so I'm going to play it. That's all there really is to it. I like this game, so I'm going to play it. I know a lot of you like this game. Um, it's gaining some popularity. Next week, guys, I'm going to interview the developers of this game. So the people that actually made this game, I get to talk with them, and it's going to be awesome. I'm super excited about it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. They're in London, so they're going to have sweet accents too, <laughs> which I'm stoked about because I love accents. Um... But that's pretty much it. Right now I have a lot of coins, I have a lot of elixir, and as you can see right up here, we have our um, our carpenter. So that's the same as builders. We have one out of five um, are busy right now. So we already have five of them. I already got all those. I was gifted um, some gems or some diamonds uh, by the makers of the game, which was really, really cool. And then right here we also have the blacksmith, uh, which is the same as the... Um, shoot, what is it? The Not the spell factory, the laboratory. I just had a brain fart. Um, and this is where you upgrade them. So, yeah, I'm going to upgrade a, let's see what, so both of my mortars are the same level right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I just upgraded my ice tower, so I can't do that again. As you can see at the bottom, it says max upgrade level reached. We're going to go ahead and upgrade one cannon which is the same as a mortar, so he does splash damage. We don't want to upgrade both of them because I don't want to be out of splash damage for too long. And then we're going to go and why don't we see if we can upgrade um, an archer tower. So we'll upgrade that archer tower right there. Now we've used a lot of our coins. Um, and then why don't we go ahead and I don't think I can, yeah. So I can't upgrade my, uh, my practice yard yet. But I can go and upgrade... 
Nope, can't upgrade those. Why don't we go ahead and upgrade one of my markets? Um, so we'll upgrade a market right there. And then we'll just leave that last builder for walls whenever we get more coins. But actually we can go ahead and... Oh, this is one thing that I really like about uh, the selection of walls in this game is that it's, it's, it's different because when you go to select more, uh, first of all, I can upgrade all of them at once, which makes it so much easier than clicking on each individual one. It's so annoying. Um, but as you can see, it doesn't. It normally doesn't select the uh, the corner blocks, but in this case, it does. But if I were to go over here and select this, as you can see, it doesn't select the corner blocks, which is so great. I don't know if anybody got annoyed with that in Clash, but I did. Um, how it would select the corner blocks and then you couldn't move them, so it doesn't select the corner blocks, which is awesome. Um, so we're going to select more on this. We're going to go ahead and upgrade this as well, um, and then why don't we go ahead and just upgrade? Come on. I'm just going to upgrade this corner one right here. But guys, that is pretty much it for this first episode of Let's Siege. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. I've really liked this game. It's been awesome. Um, I love the fact that it's uh, Japanese or Asian style. It's really, really cool. Um, and I also like all the differences. So guys, don't hate. Just try the game out um, and see if you like it yourself. If you don't, don't be annoying. <laughs> But guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. You guys rock. I really do mean that. And I hope that you enjoy this series. And I hope that you try out the game before saying that it's a copy of another game. Okay? Because it's not. There's a lot of differences. They do have similarities, but there are a lot of differences as well. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it, guys, for this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And for this, we're going to say keep calm and see John. All right, guys? I'll see you later.